Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Spherical Stabilizer node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and I've got some uh, VR footage of uh, me driving down my dirt road to the house. And uh, it's often extremely bumpy. So I kind of want to show this footage when I'm talking about the Spherical Stabilizer. Because with today's cameras, the, the 360 cameras and the action cameras we have, stabilization or post-stabilization is kind of a moot point now because they're just built in and uh, using the gyroscopes and all the stuff they have. The stabilization in them is amazing. And the residual unstabilized stuff within the footage really can't be stabilized how you would think. So if I play this footage... You can see our uh, little 360 camera is kind of bouncing around because it's on a uh, selfie post. And that's what you see moving. So you see the car moving and the car is moving itself, but the camera is moving and the post is bouncing around. So we see this somewhat unstable footage and you can see it's kind of wobbly. And But if we look at our horizon and we look at everything that's going on, this footage is extremely stabilized, so it's just perfectly still level, even though this camera is bouncing around like crazy. So trying to stabilize this, you have to uh, isolate what you want to stabilize because there's really nothing to stabilize in it other than right around our uh, little camera here where it's bouncing around. But I'm going to tell you right now, the spherical stabilizer is not going to fix this the way you would think it would fix it. So let's go ahead and bring in a shift space spherical stabilizer and we're going to add it. And all this stabilizer does is it acts like any other stabilizer, but it takes into account the fact that this is 360 footage and there's a bunch of stuff going on. So if we look at top right here, we've got this reject dominant motion outliners while tracking. That means if anything's moving, you can see in the background, there's a golf cart that was driving down the road. It's going to ignore this. Or if in your footage, you've got people walking or other people on motorcycles or skiing, whatever you're taking your VR footage of, it's going to ignore those little movements. Right here, we've got a track in reverse, track from a current position, reverse, track forward from current position, and then track forward. And these are the buttons we select to actually do our track. And then right here, once we start tracking, this will be selectable so you can stop your track. Under append to track, this is just whether you're gonna replace or append, meaning if I already did a track and I don't like it and I wanna redo it, I can either replace all those tracks with a new track or I can just add new uh, keyframes to the existing track. Under our stabilization rotation, this is where all your keyframes are actually going to get written. Once we stabilize, you'll be able to see all the keyframes from our stabilization. But if you go in here, you uh, change it. You can change it if you want, but you're not going to see any difference. And then under our stabilized strength and our smoothing, this is where we set our actual strength and smoothing of our uh, tracking. So. If we want no stabilization applied, which I don't know why you would track it with none. If you put it to zero, there's uh, no stabilization. And one is maximum stabilization. So you find in between where you want to uh, set your stabilization strength. Your smoothing is going to eliminate, uh, well, it can eliminate all rotation from a shot. So basically fixing it forward on a specific viewpoint. And this just dictates how much smoothing there is. So zero would be kind of a still shot and all the way to one will allow for 100% smoothing. And down here, we can always offset our uh, rotations on the X, the Y, and the Z. So let's go ahead and track this. So I'm going to uh, set everything to the max and we're going to track forward and 
And if we play it back, you can see our footage actually is worse than it was when we started. It's doing this uh, odd thing where it's no longer level on the horizon and our car is still bouncing around and now it's squishing kind of like Play-Doh. So that didn't help anything. So let's go ahead and uh, put this on its default settings. And actually let's go ahead and 50% smooth or actually let's do no smoothing this time. And let's go ahead and track forward. And I can already see that uh, our footage is kind of weird. And again, it's uh, doing this odd stuff. So like I said, with today's cameras, it's pretty stable. It, uh, it sits there pretty good. You're going to get some movement and stuff. But really, if you've bought a 360 camera or action 360 camera, any type of camera with internal stabilization in it, this node is kind of a moot node because it's going to make it worse. But if you got old footage from older 360 cameras where the stabilization wasn't that great, um, this node will help you with that stabilization. So love it or leave it. That is the spherical stabilizer. I will see you in the next node breakdown.